Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. We're back in the vibrant coffee shop. Same Tuesday. Same Tuesday. <laughs> Different person. Yes. <laughs> You're not That's me it anymore. That's right. I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Thank, please don't interrupt me again. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> what was I saying? We're here. I'm here with Modern. And Modern is our... I don't even know what you work on anymore. Our container, our Linux, Microsoft our open is. source. You do I, a whole I suppose bunch of I stuff. work on all of this. You do, you do a lot of interesting stuff. And it still in, works. In the t <laughs> I mean, some of it does. <laughs> and he is here to show us the latest and greatest on Azure Container Instances, or ACI. Okay. I am. Okay. So tell us a little bit. So we just GA'd that. We shipped this many moons ago. Yes. Many moons. Last July. Many fortnights. Last July. Uh, tell us a little bit about what this is and what people are doing with it. Because I know when we originally launched, we were sort of like, we don't know what people are going to do with yeah. this thing, right? So yeah. tell us what sort of what sort of played out, and then we just GA'd this, right? Yeah. So ACI stands for Azure Container Instances, and the idea was to make containers as cloud native as possible, right? Basically, the lowest compute primitive possible. You don't have to worry about VMs. You don't have to worry about managing clusters right. or orchestrators. Right. I've got containers. My app is packaged in the container. I just want it to kind of host in Azure, right? So that's exactly what we did. The command is pretty simple. You've shown this, you know, in your previous episodes. You know, you just say container create. Here's my image. If you want a DNS label, if you want a public port open, you can say that. It's just like so stupid as, easy. As simple as VM, except yes. it's, it's containers it's container. and immutable you know, infrastructure. So all the ecosystem that works with containers just works, right? When you say immutable infrastructure, explain to I, I act like I don't know what that means. I actually said immutable, which means you know typically in a container ecosystem, you know people are writing code that yes. they package it up. So it's yes. essentially a, a deployment. Format. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. And and but it's also you know something that you can act as if it's a VM, right? right. So it's fast, you know, it's fast boot up, very simple to create, not a whole lot of concepts. Uh, so you know it's really easy for a developer to kind of you know essentially kind of fire up a, a set of command line and go interact with my containers right yes. there. And when I don't need it, I shut it down. Yes. Right? So and it starts up super fast, shuts yes. down super fast. Yes. Got it. And it can be used with other services too, right? Totally. And so, and totally. so, like, what, what have we have we seen people sort of deploy it with other services? Yeah, and I mean, yeah. containers because these are effectively serverless containers. Yes, they are essentially becoming. Uh, what, an was this quotes? Was that what that was? Yeah, this is okay, serverless. That was, right? There's that no was the server. quotes. That's it. Server, There's no serverless. I see. I see. Uh, you know, it's basically not used with our serverless stack, right? Yeah. So you know, people are using it function. In fact, what I'm going to show is basically uh, a fully event-driven application using many, many. Aspects of our serverless stack, oh, very Cosmos cool. DB, Service Bus, uh, you know Azure Functions, of course, and of course, you know ACI in the centerpiece, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So you know we're seeing a lot of customers thinking about like, hey, you know, how can I kind of stand up an event-driven infrastructure that's composed of many, many, many Azure services yes. and do some very interesting, you know, uh, compute things, and then you know essentially tear it down when yeah, I don't need yeah, it Joe, immediately. Yes. And, and paying just for the seconds. If you remember yeah, ACI yeah. when we launched, that was the first time we actually had a per second, you know, compute service. And now people are using it for ETL yeah. jobs, build jobs, some fancy serverless application. Yeah. The whole and I remember has. when we originally launched it, we were like trying to figure out how to bill for it because no one had ever done anything like it before. Yes. And so we were like trying to yes. basically invent how billing should work for something like this. Indeed, it's indeed. I mean, like we and it's actually the recent release has reduced the price quite a bit. Indeed, right? yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah. I mean, in fact, if you look at the number of decimal places that we have to kind of keep a position <laughs> on, it's like six decimal places and we can actually go more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Well, so do you have something to show me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah I so, mean, we can just keep talking. So but. this is as part of the Azure Container Instances GA. We you know we released this sample. It's all in Azure samples, as you can see. Uh, it's an event-driven worker queue implementation. So basically, you will see anything that shows the ACI logo, which is this. Okay, yeah. We've got cool. a dashboard, a web server, essentially running and hosting, you know, some sort of interactive activity. And then we have a worker. This is spawned on demand. And the way we do it is the, the 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 website essentially sends a notification to Service Bus to queue a bunch of work. Okay. And then that essentially can uh, trigger a Azure function, which will essentially create an ACI instance on demand, right? And then what we have to do here is essentially cost. Let me ask a question. Can I ask yep. a question? Sorry. Service Bus. Why Service Bus here versus something like Event Grid? Is it just? It could have been could have worked too. Even good. Okay. Yeah, totally. Okay. You know? okay. I mean, there is no reason. Okay. You know, service I like both services. I like both services. Yes. I like both services. They yeah. work well. Service was ordered, right? Yeah. yeah. That's we the just thing. we just used it for this sample, but yeah. you know, totally. You know, you can Fine. use even grid, logic apps, you name it. Right? I apologize for my interruption. No, no Continue. problem. Very good question. Thank we you. We love even grid too. Yes. <laughs> And, and what you have here is Cosmos DB essentially keeps track of all the work, the status of the work. Yes. And then you know we also have a cleanup as soon as the work is done. You know that is essentially you know Service Bus again sends a notification to Azure Functions, which essentially you know cleans up you know the, the containers as they're. So let me kind of show you how this looks in Portal, right? So we basically you know you can see in the resource group here, 
And you know, like you mentioned, there's a, a function app. You know, we have a bunch of containers that are already running, a Cosmos DB, you know, service bus, you know, implementation, and so on and so forth. And the dashboard is pretty simple. You know, at this point, I have a bunch of containers. Um, I can look at each of the container here, and you'll see the output. It's essentially a simple hash function. You pass in a command uh, or, or a string. So I can say hello for, uh, and you'll see, you know, a function I see. essentially kind of and triggering so it's it. creating on demand. Yes. Got as it. and when you need it. Now oh, you can see the color up. change. It's, it's basically assigned. Yeah. My and goodness. then as soon as the work is done, it'll change to That's green. That's fast. Right? You and blink, you blink and you miss it, Rick. <laughs> that's the whole point, right? So, and then you know, we also have integration with Azure Monitor, right? So you can basically look at kind of the usage here, you know, the output, you know, you can necessarily so that's the hash the logs. Of, the, of what yeah, you typed in. Yeah, 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 what it typed. So you know, you can see not at this really, point. Not really, like an incredibly useful job that's running here. Yeah, look, the work is done, so you can see the hash now, you know, hash is finished. right there. And so, does that mean the container? We've killed that container now. In this case, it is there because I haven't kind of cleaned up. But essentially, you can go see here, right? Oh, but you go clean database, and it would clear it out then. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. So right now, if I go and do a refresh, you will see the container that just popped up, uh, which was Chen something, right? Chen five right. You got it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. That one right there. And I want to show you some things that we did for our uh, general availability. So same set of information here, like it displayed in the app. But the cool part is, you can look at the container events right in the portal. We've integrated with Azure Monitor, so oh, you see this. all so you the events. So you got basically the events of the, the health of the container, all these aspects here, Exactly, huh? and you can look at the properties, you know, what I used when I created it, you know, basically what port is open, you know, what messages. And the cool thing that I like is the locks, right here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you thought Serial Console was awesome. Uh, I, I mean, it is. It is it's, awesome, it's but you know, it's, this I mean, is container world, This is right? okay, but I mean, Serial's still much cooler. That's right, that's right. And so. does every container just have random spew, or this is what the, this this, is, what, this this is is the work that it's Yeah, doing. this is okay. the work, so you okay. know. And every container you could essentially, I didn't mean know, to call your container ugly. Well, you know, to each their own. That's you know? Apparently. Uh, uh, <laughs> so that's basically it. You know, it's a pretty simple app. You can go, you know, give it a test drive. All the code is right I see, here. So you got all the code here, and so this includes Includes an ARM template to be able people yeah. to be able to yeah. They just very simple, go. very simple. You can do it Look all from a cloud shell. You know, clone it. You know, run it with it. You know, and basically, you know, make changes. You know, submit And away you go. Yeah. And I wanted to show another. You know, oh, just one cool, more thing. just, just so we, we know. Okay. Azure Cloud Shell is embedded, right? You can yeah. just go to shell.azure.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do oh, is. Oh, this is the shell standalone. Yeah. Okay. Shell.azure.com. Write that down, everyone. Yeah. And so, in a couple more key features just that we learned. This basically kind of locks, you know, essentially to goes into the container of my choice and actually, you know, prints this. And prints this out. Right in your, uh, you know, cloud So shell. again, it's sort of like just like the Docker commands yes. directly against a full man and service. Yes. Again, serverless. Yes, with an SLA. With an SLA. Yeah, 3.9's SLA. 3.9's. First time. All right. In the public cloud. Wow. Yeah. And you can also do. I told you he knows containers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can actually let me let me also. You can even do an exec, which is typically you know what is used for a, a container. Create. Just to run a command. Yeah. So if I do az, uh, az, az. Feels like you're making up this demo as you go. Is that? Yeah. yeah I mean, I we mean, have time, so we can keep starting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys don't have anything to do, so. Yeah. So let's see if I can get the az container exec. I mean, now you've. Yeah, now, I'm, now you've I'm, really I'm, built I'm this up. My, you built this up and yeah. you're like scanning so through I, all these I'm, previous I'm commands. Gonna leave, I'm going to leave through this because I'm going into the, the balls of uh, uh, you know, container land. But I wanted to show you some of the examples here. So you, you can basically attach a container. Obviously, you can create, delete. There you but go. You can There's do an exec. exec yeah. uh, it's pretty cool. You basically are running into a uh, container. And you can spell, you know, essentially, if you want to bash into it, you yeah. can do it right there. Yeah. And look, try uh, it. You could run it right here if you wanted to. That's right. You can uh, do that. That's a fine. That's I'm not going to. I'm right. going to jinx it here. Yes. And then obviously, you know, Here's we've the got the model. glorious blog from Corey <laughs> uh, announcing it, and uh, you know, all the list, list of things that we've done. We have our very own. And then, uh, then the it. and then the better show. That's right. The better show from Scott Hanselman. Scott Hanselman. You know what? Let's play this <laughs> in this show. Inception. <laughs> and I'll get more views. That's right. <laughs> hey friends, I'm here with Justin Luck, and we're going to talk talk about Azure Container Instances. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic, Scott. How are you? Lovely. I lovely. I'm like announcements for things that are generally available, and Azure Container Instances is ready to go. Yes, exactly. Um, so this is a super exciting time for Azure in general. Mm -hmm. So as we see containers get adopted by the market, we want to make sure that containers are available and flexible in whatever type of service that you might need on Azure. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, you should give it a try. You should give it a try. Thank you, Manon. Yeah. I, I put, you're, you're ready for me to end this. That's right. Yeah, okay, thank you, Manon. This okay. is great. ACI is great. Thank you. Uh, this is a good demo. Yes. Uh, you showed some great stuff. One of the things you did not show and you promised to, so maybe yeah. we'll come back and you can sh maybe you can put a little video up on Twitter. We can do a part two. We'll do a part two yeah. of just that. Yeah. Thank you for being on the show. Sounds Thank good. you for, for being here and, and, and suffering through this great this show. Uh, it, Mana did great, just to be clear. It was more on the weakness on my side. It's always that. If you've got questions, you got comments, hit me up on hashtag AzureTWC. That's short for Tuesdays with Corey. And I'm here again with Mana. And we are showing Azure Container Instances. And you should get this GitHub. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's take it back over here and just show people. Make sure you download this and give it a try. And so it's uh, right here. And so just take a look at Azure Samples and have a great Tuesday. Thanks a lot. Give us a snap. <laughs> Hi, Rick. <laughs> How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> How do you know if it's recording? Because you hit the record button. It's not that, man. Hello, Rick. All right, you ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready, Rick? Yes. All right.